If you are looking for a bike rack, an external storage box, a ladder, or a spare tire carrier for your camper van, whether it's a Sprinter, Transit, or ProMaster, you don't want to miss a single minute of this video. Got a new bike. What's missing? Bike rack. We're headed to Rover Vans in Glenview, Illinois, outside of Chicago. He has a new accessory for ProMaster Vans, and that is a bike rack. Let's go get the bike rack installed and get the bike out of the cabin. All right, it's happening. Bike rack installations. What they're doing is putting in brackets at the hinge points. Right there, you can see that one. This is working on the upper one right here. So they actually use the original OEM hinge points, not stressing the door, not stressing the hinges. And please stay to the end because we're going to do a discussion with the owner of Rover Vans, Peter, as he walks us through these accessories, the pricing, the availability. So if you're interested in doing more for your bikes, storage, ladder, tire, you don't want to miss a single minute of that discussion. So here's what it looks like before we put the panels on. That's what they're working on right now. So we got the uh, brackets installed. Looks really nice. Super solid. Matches the ladder. And now they're gonna bolt the panels on and then the tray goes up here. It's looking really good. Real, real good. cool about this approach is it's modular so here's panel one another panel goes here another panel goes down here we can actually put a storage box on here so we're going to just kind of get the bike mounted and then we're going to uh, kind of experiment with what I want to do down here we're definitely putting those panels on and how do I get to the hand the door handle we're gonna put a little cord out here that I pulled and that is what opens up the door uh, so pretty good I'm really happy it looks really really awesome um, and the trays go up here that the bike is going to rest on and the bike is going to go this way. Uh, My goal was to get a new bike rack. Mission accomplished. And that would be the end of the story. However, the more time I spent with my cool new bike rack and my tire and ladder accessory, both from over vans, there was a gaping hole under the bike where a expedition storage box would normally reside. If you've been watching my channel for any of the over five years we've been putting out van life content, you know that 
I'm not a big guy on stuff and having stores to carry more stuff. But the back of the van just really looked out of balance. And the more I thought through with a expedition storage box on the back, I could empty most of what I carried in my garage storage inside the van to that box on the exterior of the van. So what I did is I called Peter at Rover Vans and I asked him, could you please install an expedition storage box on the back of my van? And that's where we pick up as the next phase of accessorizing the back of my van, Miss Lily. So we're putting on the brackets that hold the bike rack to the peg. Happy to say that this is a peg system for one bike, but there is a peg system for two bikes. I'm just helping hold it in place. So super excited. This is the box that's going on the back of the van. They're gonna drill the holes right here. Uh, I got the team working the project, pretty nice. Do you guys know the size of the uh, the box by up chance? Here we go. 29 and a half. 29 and a half. By 24. By 24 and, and 14 deep. 14 deep. That's going to hold a lot of stuff. What's great about this system is with the rack installed on the van back, the box is the same box used for different chassis. Sprinters, ProMaster, Transit. And what they do is they pre-drill the box to fit that rack that's already been installed on the van. So this makes it very modular, very flexible, and really contains costs because it's the same racking system that you just install the accessory on. Pretty smart, right? While well, we're waiting for the brackets to be put on, just want to give you a hot tip. Uh, rubber vans in the Chicagoland area build on all three chassis, Sprinter, ProMaster, and Transit. This is the uh, rubber vans owner's private vehicle. We're going to do a tour of this, so you don't want to miss that. He has a very different approach to adventure vans that... Uh, I really like and the accessories are just stunning. Just really proud to be associated with Rover Vans. Here's a different implementation of the bike rack. This the bikes actually mount this way and they stick out like this quite a ways out. I actually prefer how my bike rack implementation is. And a question I get all the time is, can this accommodate two bikes? And the answer is yes. You just put bigger pegs on. Um, I think these are 12 inches. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out how long these are. But yes, you can put two bikes flat against the van, which is really great. I know. I've just been handed the keys to the box. So what I'm going to do is go put them in the key ring to my van so I don't lose them. Unique to the lock. It's pretty cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Peter, will you do the duties, please? Uh, close the door. <laughs> Look at that. That is sweet. Now I just need to put my bike on. Nice job, gentlemen. Thank you. Man. Beautiful, huh? And with the bike on the rack, this looks super sweet. It looks like I'm supposed to go, I don't know, mountaineering or something now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to a Harvest Host winery. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Just super excited about this. It looks so great. We're gonna talk with the owner and he's gonna walk us through what this is from a installation as a DIY. Do you need to come here? Um, pricing, warranty, um, all that business. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Our chat with the owner, Peter of Rover Vans is next.
Okay, so you've been watching how these uh, accessories were installed on my Ram Promaster Winnebago Travato. We've got today with us Peter. He's the owner of Rover Vans. Yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> A man of few words, but very powerful ones. What we want to do today is have Peter walk us through what these accessories are, um, how they kind of got into uh, fruition. And, by, and thank you, by the way, for making them available for ProMaster. Most of these things go on sprinters and some transits, but doing them on ProMaster, very, very important. Um, so Peter, you ready to walk us around? We're going to talk about price in a minute, and we're going to give you some sizing. Correct. So let's go. Yeah. All right, so Peter, the first thing we want to talk about, we know that the ladder and tire have been on the, my van for over a year now, and it saved my van in a rear end collision from yep. literally being destroyed, so thank you for that. Um, but maybe just kind of show us what, what this is about. Again, there's three accessories that make up this whole grouping. So the ladder tire, the bike, and then the storage locker. Um, maybe just give a little sense of, of how it's made and how much it weighs and how can somebody obtain that accessory. Yeah, 100%. So that's our super most popular product. Um, all aluminum. All, uh, we do all of our TIG welding uh, in-house. Um, we made some small improvements. Uh, kind of like a, you have a, our logos uh, laser cut in now. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks a little bit better. Um, all of our welds are structural. Uh, you're going to see a lot of companies with these big welds. Um, which actually, you know, they may look cool, but uh, our welding is actually, we focus on welding structurally versus um, for show maybe, yeah, yeah aesthetics. Uh, they're still very beautiful. Um, so the entire system, you asked about weight, is about 27 pounds, 27 which pounds. is- Plus tire. Plus the tire. Can accommodate, um, it's rated 150 pounds. Um, I've seen people put more on. We kind of, you know, we rate 150. Most tires and wheel combo like this is going to be around 100 pounds. Um, several major advantages of having, you know, the wheel underneath. Um, obviously, let's say you have a flat tire here. Look how awkward it would be to get underneath that van. Not a lot of space. Um, if you're in a situation, if you're on a highway, off-road, it's actually, you know, probably not that safe. So the tire being right here, easily accessible. You, you know, twist this guy several times, it will pop off and it's right there. Um, I mean, it will take minutes versus, you know, probably yeah. a lot of minutes. Yeah, right. Um, so yeah, aesthetically, it looks cool. Now you have like your adventure van looking more like an adventure van. And, um, the, and to install this, you're, you're not putting any additional stress on the door or the hinges because you're using correct. OEM. Yeah, so we, we are using brackets that are attached to the hinges. Um, a lot of folks think that they get attached to the door so they're not attached to the door. Um, the one new thing that we have, and this is an option, is actually that's on the right-hand side, is the drill through options. Uh, on the ProMaster, we're still using the no-drill no bracket. Um, in the future, we will have an option for both drilling and non-drilling. Um, advantages and disadvantages to both systems. Uh, but for now, we have that uh, non-drill bracket, so it's, so beautiful and i've had mine for a year and a half and it's uh, just been a great system and you sold quite a few uh, to even quite my a audience few. right because yeah. it's just a great solution right mm, the promise has been selling really good we're thankful for that so let's talk about the bike rack um because this is a very different approach previously my the, the bike rack folded down and my bikes were like this stacked out here it's about almost two feet off the back of the van here um, this again is a very different approach. Kind of walk us through what we're looking at here. Yeah, so it's a pretty pretty popular setup on the adventure van. Um, so on this one we have the one-up system. Uh, we use the Kuat system as well. Both brands I think are great. Um, on here we have the single bike prongs, which are a little bit shorter, and you can put one bike without having longer prongs kind of sticking sticking out. We have the double ones as an option, so you can do that as well. So let me just kind of help you with that. So this is obviously with one bike, but if you want two bikes, you just get longer pegs that you sell mm -hmm. separately and you can have, um, and then one up is, is this system here that you're utilizing that it attaches to your panel, I'll call it. Correct, it's Exa the, that's the accessory panel that we have for the ProMaster. Very nice, and you're using the same hinge system that we're using on the bike rack. Um, what I'm gonna do is gonna hand you my $100,000 measuring tape, because yes. this came with my Winnebago Travato mm -hmm. from Winnebago. All right. Buy a van, get a free tape measure. Perfect. Um, so maybe just measure from the folks, kind of from the, I don't know, the back of the van here to out here, just to give a sense of how- True thing, so much. 
the back of the van, you're looking at 17 inches. 17 inches, which is, again, is less than my original bike rack. Yeah. Pretty so amazing. With, with the pedal, you're probably around 19. 19, 19 oh, yeah, give or take. Sure, yep. Um, and the box from the back of the van, you're about 19 and a half. 19 and a half. So again, less than my original bike rack, which stuck out here, it was quite a, quite a big distance. Um, and again, kind of the idea here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's one racking system that you put accessories then on the panel, right? Do I Correct. have that right? Mm -hmm. So in the past, we used to have this system with just one panel and that made for a more expensive system. So we wanted to do two things. Um, a, if you're putting a box, there's no reason to have a panel behind it. So why pay for it and why add any additional weight? Uh, mainly it was a cost saving uh, thing. And B, when we, um, on the Sprinter and on the Transit, we have our handle extension system, which actually we're the only company that offers that. Because for us, it was a big deal to have the box mounted uh, horizontally, not vertically. When you mount it horizontally, you know, you can open the box this way, use this as a, as a table, and we find that the box is more useful uh, putting it on this way. But the challenge was, you know, how do you open the door? And on the Transit and Sprinter, we have our door extension system. We will have one, or handle extension system. We're gonna have one for the ProMaster, but in the meanwhile, what we did is we installed the box a little bit lower, and then you're still able to yeah. kind of access the handle here yeah. and open the door. And then um, you can purchase that, just the rack, and then you purchase one panel, like what we have on this one, which you can attach different, you know, different attachments, like the bike rack. The bike rack, it's so cool. If you've been watching my channel at all, um, you know I'm not a real big person on stuff. It's kind of a one in the van and one out on things. But this actually caught my eye and I was really excited about it uh, because some of the stuff that's been in my garage storage, which is just behind inside the doors, um, is now in here. You saw my new fire, uh, fire pit. I, you got to see the video about that, um, the big propane cartridge, and other stuff that's going to go in here that's currently like my, my hoses and my... Um, electrical equipment uh, cord is going to go in here. So I'm really excited because I'm actually freeing up space inside the van, but not taking up a lot of space on the outside. So Peter, let's have you kind of measure this to give some, uh, folks a sense of uh, the size because it, it kind of defies what it, yeah. its overall size. But we'll start with the measurements. Um, so width-wise, we're 30 inches wide. 30 inches wide, okay. okay. Depth-wise, with the door, we are 14. 14. And then by 22, I'm sorry, 24. And we go all the way to the bottom. Um, and then maybe measure from this point to the actual door, just mm -hmm. to give a sense of how deep it is. Yeah. So from the door to this point, you're at 19, 19 and a quarter. Which is still less than my original bike rack by a significant amount. And then on the inside, um, let's open that and kind of yeah. get a sense of I guess it'd be about the same dimensions, mm -hmm. but um, how about just the depth on, from the lip here? Yeah, so from the lip depth, you're just on the 12. 12, 12 foot. Yeah, but keep in mind that, you know, that lip is uh, significant. It's about an uh, inch and three quarters. So anything kind of protruding out, um, probably plus the door. door. Yeah. You can, yeah, you yeah. can still um, have something a little bit bigger in there. And I, I think, again, ladies and gentlemen, just taking a look and, and Rod, or Roger, <laughs> where did I get that from? Peter, I'm thinking about Roger because he would want to know about this. Um, again, kind of help us understand what we're looking at. So it's a big gasket, so waterproof. So this is a waterproof gasket. Okay, let's start with the door, okay? Door. So the improvement and kind of like what we do a little bit different than our competition is we make one, two, three, four, kind of, let's see, one, two, three bands. Whereas most of the other ones you're gonna see with just one band and this is kind of it doesn't have this um, bench oh, this to wrap it. around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So A, it's, you know, if you touch it or whatever, it's just... It's so sturdy. Yeah, it's sturdy and it, it won't like cut your hand or whatever, but mainly it's sturdy. And then we actually weld all around here. So it just makes it where we can use a thinner aluminum, make the whole thing lighter, uh, but yet it's gonna be super sturdy. Um, so like some of the other companies, they're like, oh, we use thicker gauge and then they kind of don't, don't use the same system. Um, we feel that make it lightweight, but make it robust and work uh, is, is a big deal. Um, same thing, kind of like what we changed a little bit of design here, where the bend comes in and we, we welded. This allows the box to be really sturdy, um, 
yet still be probably the lightest box on the market. Um, I'm not 100%, I haven't weighed all of them, but the ones that I did, they're significantly heavier. Any idea what this weighs? Uh, 30 pounds. 30 pounds, mm -hmm. and the panel here is? I don't know the exact weight of depth of this panel, but just the rack system is around 25. 25, so mm -hmm. pretty lightweight. Yeah, really. so you're about 50 pounds. 50 um, pounds, plus whatever you put in it. Correct. Um, and I just, again, point out two more things. So mm -hmm. this is the lock, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. And if we lift this up, yeah. there's two things to point out is, mm -hmm. well, tell us about the lock. Yeah, so it's a brand new lock system. So the lock and the hinges, they're actually from Italy. Uh, found a different manufacturer, much nicer quality, better look to it. Uh, we kind of, you know, the feedback we've been getting was for using the stainless steel that it kind of like it's too shiny and whatnot. <laughs> um, this, I think the look is definitely better. Switched over to stainless steel, um, powder coated uh, hardware too. So more black. So upgraded latch, um, better quality, just feels really different. Um, we moved to one as opposed to two. We felt like that two was a bit of an overkill. Uh, these guys are super nice. That's what I was going to um, point out, the hinges. These are just, yeah, yeah tell us about these. Uh, the same thing, like an Italian co company. They're just, they're more robust. Um, I believe it's, they're some sort of plastic, but um, just better quality. Yeah. And it's designed to be uh, on the outside. So they're going to last longer. They look better. And um, these are kind of decorative, but they do have a little bit of purpose. These yeah. Mo mo molly you panels, can, I say. They're like, yeah, we can call them uh, molly panels. They, you know, you can still attach, you know, a shovel or just different kind of attachments to it. Uh, we have two kinds. Uh, so we have these two separate panels where you can use our logo. Or if you don't want our logo, you can put one big panel and they're, they're going to be available separately. Again, like I wanted to cut cost because not everyone wants a panel. Um, so the box is available on its own, and then you can get the panels separate. Pretty cool, right? So let's have him kind of walk us through availability. Um, how does it get installed? Is it a DIY, or do you have to drive to Chicago or another outfitter? There's a few mm -hmm. in, in the area, well, the country. And then price, availability? Yeah. So it's still in stock. Um, I actually think we're down to about 10 units, so I would imagine a week or so we're going to be sold out. Um, I do have another batch that should be ready in six to eight weeks, six to eight. landed here in the, in the United States. So I guess if you want one, there's just a few available. Um, box, we have plenty of stock in. This is 880 plus the cost of the panels. Uh, these panels are 149 I think. And the one big panel is $199. Uh, we have plenty of stock on the box. Um, accessory rack, we've got probably 60, 70 units left in stock. It's been selling really well. Yeah. And, um, and then the pegs, are those sold separately? So the single ones come in the box with the unit. The double ones are extra on our website and you can buy those. Okay. Um, the accessory rack, I don't know, $14.95 just for the rack. And don't quote me, I wanna say 200 or 149 for the panels. Uh, everything is on a website though. Yeah. yeah. Right rubbervans.com yes and then for the bike rack itself is that so that's not something that we sell uh, we do recommend it one up USA Wisconsin company uh, great quality um, we again we don't have it on a website but it works with the system and then we recommend Kuat as well Kuat is uh, not a brand a little more expensive a little bit better quality got it has a gas shock and just um, more parts to it a little more sturdy as well Kind of pricey, but yeah, I have I have one on order for me, so that's cool. And what we're gonna do is give a demo of all this stuff in a different video. This is just kind of talk about having it installed, and then Peter ta talking us through this. So um, watch for that video. Uh, again, it's a very different approach. These laid this way, then they move up to hold the bike in place. And um, price on this? Uh, seventeen eighty includes shipping. Seventeen eighty includes shipping. And then you ask for installation. Yeah. So. We have videos. It's definitely a DIY uh, job that can be done by a DIYer. Um, we've at the shop. I've I think record is 35 minutes on the tire carrier, and I hold that. Um, but I think about an hour to two hours. You're gonna need a body for about 10 minutes to hold the door. Uh, everything's in the video. Same thing on the accessory rack. Should be a two-hour job, give or take. Um, the box probably a one to two-hour install. It does not come pre-drilled in the back because we understand there's more than rover vents out there and we want the system to be compatible with everyone. So we leave the drilling up to the user because it's aluminum. 
very, very easy to use. We provide reinforcing brackets and hardware, and it can be attached to a different system, although we don't recommend a different system. Recommend a rover van system. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know, van accessory jealous, right? Um, so I've turned my van from a traveling coach to kind of a adventure van light. So yeah. thanks again to Peter and the team for uh, hooking up Miss Lily, really, really nice. If you've seen these in person, you know how cool these, these are. And I love parking next to a, a real adventure van with different brand accessories because they come over and look at my stuff. They're like, wow, that's cool. <laughs> and then they call Peter for some. So rovervans.com is where you go get it. Um, just thanks again for uh, hooking us up my and uh, sharing with the channel. Um, reach out to Peter and the team so you can get your van as cool looking as mine. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Peter. Yeah.